your filters. So first type of structures that we considered, they were direct form structures. Why are they called direct form? Because they were directly obtained. They can be directly realized from a knowledge of the transfer function GZ as a rational function. So that is the nature of the rational function expression for the transfer function. So right from this, without further mathematical maneuvering, we can get these direct form structures. So we considered that this transfer function, it consists of two parts, G1Z and G2Z. G1Z is the numerator. That means an all zero system. And G2Z is reciprocal of this uh, denominator. So that is an all pole system. So there can be two types of direct form structures. One will be obtained if you place G1Z first, followed by G2Z. So that's what we considered last day. So that type of structure is called direct form one realization. We place G1Z first. So input to this G1Z is the sequence, the input that we want to process. Output is represented by, say, Vn. Then we have attached the all-pole system. And output of the all-pole system is obviously Yn, the ultimate output. So G1Z, this is the expression. On cross-multiplying and taking the inverse Z transform, you get this difference equation between Vn and Xn. G2Z, its input is Vn and output is Yn. So G2Z is Yz by Vz. Here also, on cross multiplying, rearranging the terms, and on taking the inverse Z transform, you get this expression for Yn. So G1Z, it can be straightway implemented by a tapped delay structure, or tapped delay line structure, or transversal structure that is used for. FIR systems. That is this first part. And second part, which relates Yn is represented in this way. So that is the direct from one realization. It requires m plus n plus one number of multiplications, m plus n number of two input additions, and m plus n number of unit delay elements. All right. So up to that, we considered last day. Now, second option, now we are trying to explore the second option. We will place the all-pole system G2Z first and then attach to it the all-zero system G1Z. So this is the situation. G2Z first. Obviously, its input is Xn. The output is, let us represent that by Wn. That is the input to the all zero system, which we have attached. And its output is Yn. So first consider G2Z. That is the expression. So that will be equal to Wz by Xz. Here, on cross multiplying, on rearranging the terms and taking the inverse Z transform, what do you get? You get Wn equal to Xn minus this summation. Input to G1Z is Wn and output is Yn. So G1Z will be Yz by Wz. Here straightway on cross multiplying and taking the inverse Z term, you get this equation relating the sequences Yn and Wn. So this is called direct form two structure. Just write this part down, then I'll draw the structure.
Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I, I, I also hear you. Problem is solved. Now, so this is G to Z, input Xn, output Wn. You write this part. So, in, I mean, uh, important part is not to draw the, I mean, structure, but to write down the difference equations. In case of these direct form structures, whether it is direct form 1 or direct form 2, we have a pair of difference equations. As for example, here we have this difference equation L and difference equation 7 to implement the system. So these are the two difference equations that have to be programmed. When this system is to be implemented using software, these are the two difference equations that are to be programmed. There will be small subroutines for represent for the computation of uh, Wn from Xn and Wn minus i and then Yn from Wn. I mean, WN minus I, etc. This is the structure. Let me just compress it, then it will be visible, I think. Just see here that there is an array of unit delay elements. Here, the unit delay elements are represented by z to the power minus 1, but because we are representing these sequences in the time domain, Preferably, instead of z to the power minus 1, you, you have to write tau. But even if you write z to the power minus 1, there is no harm. Truly speaking, when we are representing the sequences in the z domain, that means if you write instead of xn, if you write capital XZ, instead of wn, you write capital WZ and here capital YZ, 
then in the truest sense you can i mean represent these unit delay elements by z to the power minus 1 anyway so array of unit delay elements are there and from just after every unit delay element there is a branching in two directions as you can see so this particular direct form to structure it has been drawn considering capital n greater than capital m it could have been the other way around remember that if you consider the transfer function here for this uh, IIR filter, there is no constraint. Don't think that capital M cannot be greater than capital N. It can be greater than capital N. That will not affect causality. So any one of them can be larger, capital M or capital N. Why? Because this is a ratio of polynomials in z to the power minus 1. If it were a ratio of polynomials in Z, obviously then the constant is there, that the order of the numerator polynomial cannot exceed that of the denominator polynomial for causality of the system. But here, because it's a ratio of polynomials in Z to the power minus 1, there is no such constraint. But this figure has been drawn considering uh, capital N greater than capital M. Draw it. Here you have a dotted line. There also you have a dotted line. And in this case also. Here you have a dotted line and here. Sir, so please scroll up. Okay. Okay.
Sir, can you scroll up once more? Yes. Okay, so now we scroll down. Now, important thing is that if you compare between direct form 1 and direct form 2, how many multiplications and two input additions are there in this structure direct form 2? m plus n plus 1 multiplications and m plus n two input additions. Aren't the same as what you had in case of the Direct from one structure, remaining same. What about the number of unit delay elements? In this particular structure, the number of unit delay elements is capital N, N standing for Noinital. But I have considered the case for capital N greater than capital M. If capital M standing for Madras were greater than capital N, then the number of unit delay elements required would have been capital M. So to generalize, the number of unit delay elements is the larger of capital M and capital N, either capital M or capital N, whichever is larger. So because this uh, direct form 2 structure, it requires minimum number of delay elements, it is also referred to as canonic structure. Next, have a look at another variant of structure. 
So this structure is known as cascade realization, cascade form structures. <coughs> Sorry. Direct form structures, they were readily obtained from the expression for x, g, z as a ratio of polynomials in z to the power minus 1. To obtain the cascade form realization, what you have to do, you have to factorize the numerator and denominator polynomials in the expression for g, z. In the general case, how will the factorized form of this GZ look like? If you factorize the numerator and denominator polynomials, equation 1 that you get, that gives the most general distribution of zeros and poles. See here. What are referred to as CK prime and DK prime, CK prime, they are the, the first order factors, 1 minus CK prime, where CK prime is a real number, they represent real zeros. The first order factors, 1 minus DK prime, where DK prime is a real number, they represent real poles. So first order factors with real coefficients, they represent either real zeros, poles depending on where this factor is there lying either in the numerator or denominator then there are second order factors such that each such second order factor can be again factorized into two terms and these coefficient coefficients ck and ck asterisk they constitute conjugate pair. Similarly, DK and DK asterisk, they constitute a complex conjugate pair. So the second order factors, they represent a complex conjugate of pair of poles, complex conjugate pair of poles in the when they lie in this numerator, sorry, denominator, DK and DK asterisk. If they lie in the Numerator, they represent complex conjugate pair of zeros at CK and CK asterisk. In this case, how are these numbers, these integers M1, N1, M2, N2 related to capital M and capital N? M is capital M1 plus 2M2 and capital N is capital N1 plus 2N2. All right. And constant A represents a fixed gain. Now, I have written down that. All right. So that is the most general distribution of poles and zeros. Now, this equation suggests that we may consider one of the first order factor of numerator and one any one first order factor of the denominator to constitute first order subsystem so in this way there can be several first order subsystems depending on the order of the on the values of capital M and capital N in a similar manner we can also have second order factor with real coefficients in the numerator and denominator so second order factor with real coefficients in the numerator and those in the denominator can be clapped together any one of second factor in the numerator and any one of the second order factor in the denominator can be clapped together to constitute a second order system. Not only that, any one of this first order factor in the numerator and any one of this second order factor in the denominator, they can also be clapped together to constitute a second order system. Several possibilities are there. That means essentially we can express GZ as, for example, some fixed gain G into G1Z into G2Z into G3Z into G, G4Z in this way up to, say, GMZ or GLZ, whatever it may be. Thus, we can express 
gz in this form where G, capital g is a fixed gain and g1z g2z g3z etc they are either first order elements having a transfer function of this form with my equation 3 or second order uh, systems with transfer functions given by equation 4 so block diagram representation of the cascade realization is xn now regarding this coefficient constant gain or fixed gain capital g remember that capital g need not be placed here you can place it here or you can distribute it among different subsystems all right so as obvious from my statement there will be a con considerable freedom in the choice of composition of the subsystems considerable freedom will be there therefore when you are solving a problem on cascade realization your answers may be different all right for different students so be aware of that for a high order filter the maximum number the number of second order subsystems that are to be cascaded is ns equal to n minus 1 by 2 that means if we decide that in realizing a high order filter or dtlti system we will be using maximum number of second systems second order subsystems then the number of such subsystems will be n is equal to n minus 1 by 2 if n is odd and n is equal to capital n by 2 if n is even all right now this is your task is not over after you obtain these subsystems the transfer functions of these subsystems what you what will you obtain from these subsystems a set of several difference equations as for example here we have xn g into xn is x1n so far as g1z is concerned a difference equation relating x2n and x1n is to be written down another difference equation relating x3n and x2n has to be written down similarly in this way you can have a dotted line that be here there must be a dotted line the relation between xpn and xp minus 1n all these difference equations should be written down so each such structure has to be represented by its direct form realization two possibilities are there for direct form realization direct form 1 or direct form better to use direct form 2 for realizing each of these subsystems remember that so that's what i have written down here individual subsystems can be implemented using either of the direct form structures direct form 2 is preferable write this part
सर कैन यू स्क्रॉल अप यस थैंक यू सर when i say a class of structures consisting of a cascade of first and second order subsystems it is implied that it can be totally a cascade of first order subsystems or it can be in totality a cascade of second order subsystems 
And third alternative is that it can be a cascade combination of some first order subsystems and some second order subsystems. The first order element transfer functions are of the form given by equation 3 and for the second order systems it's given by equation 4.
उटपुट y3 n will be equal to x4 n sir could you scroll up yes sure तो ब्लॉक डायग्राम टा हाँ सर
बोले बोलो ये भी नाउ नेक्स्ट इज पैरालाइजेशन जी जेड इफ यू एक्सप्रेस इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन it can be of this form given by equation 1 some fixed gain g0 plus g1z plus g2z plus g3z in this way up to say gmz where small m is a positive integer so eat of each of this g1z g2z etc that is either a first order element or a second order element if it is a first order element Say G L Z. If it's a first order element, its expression is of this form: B zero L by one plus A one L Z to the power minus one. And if it is a second order element, its transfer function will be of this form. If you just compare these expressions with those of the first order and second order subsystems in case of uh, cascade realizations, just see here. In the parallel realization for first order element, this B zero L term is absent and in case of this uh, second order system what is there that b2l term is absent is zero all right so that is the essential difference so if that be the case then the diagram representation of the parallel structure is of this form fixed gain g0 then g1z g2 z in this way up to gmz so all these outputs they are added to yield yn xn is the input to all these systems all these subsystems all right now uh, i pointed out this thing that expressions for transfer functions of first and second order modules considered here are different from those considered in the cascade realization all right therefore i important point is here also these blocks g1z or g2z or g3z whatever it may be each of these blocks is to be replaced by its direct form realization preferably direct form 2 preferably direct form 2 so write down that part
স্যার আগের ফার্স্ট অর্ডার বা সেকেন্ড অর্ডার এলিমেন্টের সাথে এটা ডিফারেন্স মানে ওখানে একটা করে নিউমারেটরে একটা যে পার্শিয়াল ফ্র্যাকশন এক্সপ্যান্ড করলে এই ফর্মে আসে মানে তুমি করে দেখো জেনারেলি এই ফর্মে আসে আচ্ছা বাট ইন দিস সো ইন সার্টেন কেসেস you may find that b2l may come out as zero and here b1l may come out as zero this is the general expression all right okay sir যখন পার্শিয়াল ফ্র্যাকশনে এক্সপ্যান্ড করছো টার্ম গুলো কি হয় ধরা যাক যদি নিউমারেটর ডিনোমিনেটর পলিনোমিয়াল কে রেশিও অফ পলিনোমিয়ালস ইন z টু দি পাওয়ার -1 সেই হিসেবেই রাখো তাহলে ফার্স্ট অর্ডার টার্ম গুলো দেখো তো সাম কনস্ট্যান্ট এক একটা টার্ম কি হবে সাম কনস্ট্যান্ট ডিভাইডেড বাই 1 প্লাস অ্যানাদার কনস্ট্যান্ট ইনটু z টু দি পাওয়ার -1 এরকমই তো হয় তাই না I repeat that each block here is to be replaced by its uh, direct form realization. This is y1 
sorry this is y1 uh, sorry ymn right to y1n y2n so this will be ymn remember that there are other types of structures also in case of iir filters but we will not consider them there are transpose structures lattice structures etc whereas the direct form realizations they are very much susceptible to the effect of coefficient quantization one of the factors that govern the choice of an appropriate structure while parallel and cascade structures they are not so uh, susceptible to the effect of coefficient quantization which when you complete up to this cascade realization please let me know i'll move on to the problem numerical problem बोले बोलो I am moving on to the problem. now have a look at an example 
I hope you can hear me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Have a look at this example. The difference equation relating the output and input of a DTLTI system is given here. All right. 1 equal to minus 3 by 8 yn minus 1 plus 3 by 32 yn minus 2 plus 1 by 64 yn minus 3 plus xn plus 3xn minus 1 plus 2xn minus 2. So let us try to obtain the direct form realizations for this uh, given system and also the cascade and parallel realization use first order subsystems. So what I have done is that I have taken the Z transforms of both sides. All right. Then I have just shifted the terms in YZ on the right hand side to the left hand side. So I have got this equation YZ times whatever is there within brackets that is equal to XZ times I have taken out XZ. So 1 plus 3Z to the power minus 1 plus 2z to the power minus So dividing yz by xz, what do you get? In the numerator, you have this polynomial 1 plus 3z to the power minus 1 plus 2z to the power minus 2. And in the denominator, you have this one. 1 plus 3 by 8z to the power minus 1 minus 3 by 2, 3 by 32, z to the power minus 2 minus 1 by 64, z to the power minus 3. I think that the signs are all right. 3 by 8 become positive. This is negative. This is negative. All right. So here from that, you can straightway obtain the direct from one realization. So G1Z is the all zero system for the direct from one realization. It's VZ by XZ. G2Z is the all pole system for direct from one realization. It's YZ by VZ. G1Z is placed first, then followed by G2Z. So from these two equations, you get two difference equations. From the first, from expression for G1Z, you get the expression for Vn. You know how. And from G2Z, you get this expression for Yn. Now, once you get these expressions, you can straightway obtain the direct from one realization. Simply the first part that relates Vn with Xn, that is the FIS system or trapped delay structure. So that is the first part, the all zero part. And then we have attached to it the all pole part. Is that clear? So that is direct form one. Direct form two, you have to place G2Z first and attach to it G1Z. So output of G to Z, if I represent that by W Z, I mean in the time domain W N, input obviously is X N. So this is G to Z. Here also, if you just cross multiply, rearrange the terms and take the inverse Z transform, whatever you is written here, the expression for W N, that is X N minus 3 by 8 W N minus 1 plus 3 by 32 Wn minus 2, plus 1 by 64 n minus 3. In case of G1Z, because it is placed after G2Z, its output will be Yn, Z transform Yz, and input is Wn, Z transform Wz. So here, straightway by cross multiplication and taking the inverse Z transform, you get Yn. So that is the direct form realization, direct form 2 realization. All right. Next is custom realization using first order subsystems. So I have factorized the numerator and denominator polynomial. There are two first order terms with real coefficients in the numerator. And there are three first order terms with real coefficients in the denominator. Now there is a choice. I have considered that the three subsystems that will be calculated to yield the system GZ, I have picked up the factor 1 plus Z to the power minus 1 from the numerator 
and 1 plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 1 from the denominator. So I have considered that d1z is this, this one, this expression. Similarly, for d2z, I have picked up the factor 1 plus 2z to the power minus 1, and here 1 plus half z to the power minus 1. So that constitutes d2z. Whatever remains, that is d3z. All right. You could have proceeded in a different manner. You could have chosen 1 plus z to the power minus 1 and clubbed it with 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the power minus 1 to get one of the subsystems. You could have clubbed 1 plus 2 z to the power minus 1 with 1 plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 1 to get another subsystem. Then the third subsystem transfer function would have been 1 by 1 plus half z to the power minus 1. So there are several choices. But I have opted for this one. So G1z, its uh, output, let it be y1n. So it's y1z by xz. So that is the expression. All right. I am trying to obtain the direct form 2 realization of G1z. So I am, let me represent 1 by 1 plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 1 by w1z by xz. So w1n is this one. Similarly here, y1z by w1z is 1 plus z to the power minus 1. So y1n is given by that expression. All right. Similarly for g2z, if I want to express it in terms of, uh, I mean, by its uh, direct form 2 structure, I have to proceed in a similar manner. All right. So W2Z by Y1Z is uh, given by that expression. And Y2Z by W2Z, that will be given by 1 plus 2Z per minus 1. So from here also, you get two different equations, W2N in terms of Y1N and W2N minus 1, and Y2N in terms of W2N and W2N minus 1. For D3Z, you have this lone equation. So that is the structure, cascade structure. The first G1, G1 is this one. This is the, the first one is the direct form 2 realization of G1Z. Second one is the direct form 2 realization of G2Z. And third one is the realization for that uh, G3Z. All right. Similarly, you can have parallel realization using first order subsystems. I have expanded into, in terms of uh, partial fractions. So GZ, if it were ratio of polynomials in Z, I mean the factors were in terms of Z, then I should have obtained GZ by Z first. But because I am proceeding in this manner, not in terms of Z, but in terms of Z to the power minus 1, I am straightway written down A by that one, B by this one, and C by one. So A comes out as minus 35 by 3, B will come out as 8 by 3 and C will come out as 10. So that is the partial fraction expansion. Therefore, G1Z is Y1Z by XZ. So Y1N will be given by this equation on taking the, I mean, just cross multiplying and then taking the inverse Z transform, rearranging the terms and taking the inverse Z transform. Similarly, from G to Z, you get this difference equation y2n equal to 8 by 3xn minus half y2n minus 1. From G g3z, you get this equation. So that is the parallel realization using first order subsystems. All right. So right, it's clear, I think. Write down this part. Just one minute.
Hmm. Write down. Writing down those minute equations, they are of importance because those are the equations that will be converted into a program. <laughs> Programs for implementing those equations that has to be written down. And that will constitute the digital filter or DTLTI filter or DTLTI system in general. Sir, hmm, yeah, difference equation 
রিফ্যাক্টরাইজেশনটা করতে পারবে এই যে ডিনোমিনেটর পলিনোমিয়াল তাকে ফ্যাক্টরাইজ করা হয়েছে ফ্যাক্টরাইজেশনটা পারবে আসলে পারবে আচ্ছা এখন কি ক্যালকুলেটরে করা যায় এগুলো নাকি এমনি পারবে বলছে তো জানি না ক্যালকুলেটরে কি করে করে এমনি করব আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে you have to show the details of this factorization i haven't shown it Please scroll down.
if you multiply these two y w one z by x z with y one z by w one z, you'll get y one z by x z. So that is the logic. Thus, you will get G one Z. One minute. I would not take it. Sir, what a one by four y two n minus one have na? Unta. Sir, y n equal to y two n. 
শুধু ছবি আঁকলে চলবে না সমস্ত ইকুয়েশন কিন্তু লিখতে হবে প্রবলেমে হয়েছে লেখা ছবিটা আঁকো তারপর আমি লগ আউট করছি
Dulu. Dulu sama ke. Oke gitu. Yes, sir. Acha. Follow me. Recording bondo kuchhi. So we'll meet on Monday.